this. She set up her problem by showing us the tens and the ones. And she decided to draw it like we did before, with showing these strips as tens. So she saw two strips of ten star stickers. She represented it here. One, two strips of ten. Here they are with the star stickers. One, and then she put out the six single star stickers here. Then she showed the one, two strips of ten moon stickers and the one, two, three single moon stickers. I know a lot of you set up your problem in a very similar way. What's interesting is how she did her counting. Because rather, a lot of my friends I saw do this. Look up here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. Raise your hand if you solved it by counting by tens and counting on by ones. So that was one way. And you know what? That All of you friends who did that, you all should have had your hands up talking about your strategy when Nyla was doing this. Because this, what she did was very different from what she did. Nyla instead did this. She saw ten, two tens here is 20. Two tens here is 20. And did 20 and 20 is 40. She first put her tens together. 20 and 20, 40. Then she added her ones. Six ones plus three ones is nine. That's why she has these two number sentences here. 20 plus 20 is 40. Six plus three is nine. Where we're stuck, though, is what's next. I have my 40 and I have my nine. What happens now? How does she find out how many there are all together? I know that there are 40 stickers in my strips and nine loose ones, but how does she figure out how many are all together? Mason. Well, we already did that. Here we are, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 20 plus 20 makes 40. I already have my 10s, 40, and I have 9. What do we do? How do we figure out how many there are all together? Jeremy. Um, it's four equal ones that need to come together. So how do I put those together in a number sentence? How do I put the 40 and 9 together in a number sentence? Norwin. 40 plus 9 equals 49. So that's her last step there. What's, I would love to keep going, but we do need to get ready for fitness. Here's what I expect tomorrow when we get to these, pro these problems again, okay? What I expect tomorrow is to see every hand in the air showing me that you're being an active listener. I, expe I expect friends to be making a, I agree signs or, ooh, you could show me on your face like, oh, I do not agree with that. That sounds crazy. You could ask a question like, I'm really confused. You could make a comment like, I get that, that's cool, but I did it this way and it was much more efficient. Your job is to be an active listener and step up and be ready to share during the debrief tomorrow. Just because Nyla is sharing doesn't mean you are all not here ready to share as well. Are we clear? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Here's what I need right now. I'm going to call friends who have ready bodies to go back to their desks. They'll put their